nuts, you know. That's what we're here to find out. We're dying, Doc. So, Annabelle, how are you feeling this morning? How do you think? Uh, well, if it were me, I'd be a little nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. We'll go with that. Well, you know that this inquest can only go one of two ways. Yeah, either they'll convict me of murder or they'll find that I'm crazy. You understand this is not a trial. Well, what are you here for? To find out if you're confident enough for the trial. How can they say that? Say what, Animal? That I'm mad. You mean angry? No, that I'm crazy. Who says that? Don't you know, my senses are sharper than they have a world before. Is that a fact? I hear everything. Did you know? Everything in heaven. I hear. Everything here on this earth. I hear. I can even hear everything in hell. How am I mad then? It might help you to talk about that night. You think? Yes, I do. Give it help. Um, if I do, just know that I want you to sit back, listen, and observe. It's impossible to say how I got to the idea, but once I did, it haunted me day and night. You really didn't have to come by, hon. I'm, I'm fine. I really am. Well, I'm, I'm sure you are. I just, I wanted to come check on you. I haven't seen you around the neighborhood in a little while. I wanted to see how you were. I've been keeping busy, you know. I, I finally rented that uh, room down at the end of the hall. Well... I'm sure that helps, you know, since you lost your job. I'm sure the extra income is really helpful. I think so, thanks. Isn't this like the third or fourth time that you've had to rent that room? Something like that. I can't really remember. Hmm. I wonder why they don't stick around. So, how is she? Well, she is a, it's a he. And uh, he's an elderly gentleman. He's a widower. He doesn't really have any family or nowhere to go. He's been here for probably about a week now. That is so sweet of you. I'd love to meet him. Maybe one day. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, I've got to be going. You take care of yourself, Annabelle. Helen, thank you for stopping by. It was so good seeing you. Good evening, Annabelle. Oh, you startled me, Alan. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just I just saw you in here, and I, I was on my way to the kitchen to get some tea and make me some tea and, and get me maybe something to eat before going to bed. You know what? I think I'll join you. Oh, that would be really nice of you. Thank you. I don't like the old man. Well, at least I don't hate him. I mean, he's been good to me. I don't think he's ever said anything bad about me. At least not to my face. And I know he's got plenty of money, but I don't really care about that. I think it was his eye that bothered me. You think it was his eye? It had to be that. It was pale blue with some kind of film over top of it. It was disgusting. Every time I saw it, it made my blood run cold. So Doc, I mean, I'm sure you understand why I had to get rid of it. Mom, are you done with your dinner? You call that dinner? It's a piece of crap is what that is. A person can starve around here trying to survive on what you cook. Sorry, I'll try better next time. Do better. Sorry. That's all I have to hear from this worthless girl.
such a pretty kid. It's a pretty kid. Done. Thank you, Annabelle. Oh, you're just so kind. You're just so kind. Let me give you a hand there. Thank you. I was never kinder to the old man than during that whole week before I killed him. Come in. I just wanted to check in. See if everything was okay, and if you needed anything. Yeah, I, I guess I'm okay. Uh, if you could just hand me that paper there, that'd be nice. How many times have I told you you can't do that I'm to sorry. animals? I'm You're sorry. such a little freak! I'm sorry. Are you all right, Annabelle? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Ellen. I'm fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Sleep tight. Thank you. You too. Good night. I had carefully laid out my plans. Every night, around midnight, I would open the door to his room, oh so gently, because I didn't want to wake him. Would someone crazy think to do that? Huh? I worked cautiously, with so much foresight, with what dissimulation. For seven nights I did that. Must have had the patience of a saint. But I couldn't do it. And you know why? Because he was asleep. He couldn't do anything. Because you couldn't see the eye? Yeah. But on the eighth night, it was different. I very carefully opened the door, like I had all those other nights, but for some reason, the door creaked this time and it must have awakened Alan. For I heard him turn over suddenly. But I didn't move. I just stood there, watching him, not making a sound. Probably just a cricket, maybe, or a mouse, a mouse that just ran across the floor real quick. No, <laughs> it's just the wind. 
That's all. Just the wind. Who's there? I I I I said, who's there? Who who are you? What do you want? I have money. You can you can have it. You can you can have it all. J just leave. I don't want your money. Wait a minute. What's that? Do you hear that? What are you talking about? You're crazy. No, it's a low, dull thumping sound. You have to hear it. I, 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 I don't hear anything. Just, just leave. You're lying to me. You have to hear it. It keeps getting louder and louder. I, I don't hear anything. You're, you're crazy. Just, just get out. Wait a minute. It's the sound of your heart, isn't it? It's the sound of your heart beating. You're crazy. Just, just leave me alone. The neighbors are going to hear it if you don't make it stop. What, what are you talking about? I will make it stop. No! Hello, police? The night was still young, but there was so much to do, and I had to work fast. I had to find a way to dispose of the body. First, I dragged the body into the garage. Then, I found what I needed. And proceeded to dismember the body. I put the body in the freezer until I could find a way to get rid of it. Everything had to be cleaned. Would a crazy person think of all that? Never mind. At least I was free. Free from her. From that I. Free from that hideous heart. Anyways, it was late when I got everything done. <laughs>
bit late for a visit, is it? Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. We got a call from your neighbor saying they heard a scream come from your house. From my house? Yes, ma'am. And of course, we have to take a look around. You mind if we come in? Yes, of course. You know that scream? It was probably mine. I had a horrible nightmare earlier and just could not go back to sleep. Those nightmares will get you, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Yes, they will. Well, do you mind if we have a look around? Just to satisfy our chief. No, by all means. I'll show you around. As you can see, this is the sitting room. I heard you have a renter. I, I did. Well, I do. Uh, he's away right now. He mentioned something about going to the mountains or something. I'll be glad to show you his room if you like. As you can see, everything's just like you left it. Money, jewelry, everything's right there. What did you say your renter's name was? I didn't, but his name is Alan. Okay. Did, uh, did you and Alan get along? He was an elderly gentleman, pretty wonderful guy, a widower, I believe, but we got along pretty well. So, you say he went out to the country? Or to the mountains, he really didn't say which. I see. And he didn't take any of his belongings, his money, his clothes? I imagine he just went in a quick getaway and get some rest, a nice long rest. I'm sure it's pretty quiet and peaceful where he's at now. Okay, well... We're just going to have a quick look at the rest of the house, if you don't mind, ma'am. Of course not. Right this way. Everything seems to be in order. Sorry to have disturbed you. I guess we'll just be on our way. Well, you know, it's it's really early. Why don't you guys stay for a cup of coffee before you head back to the station? You gotta be tired. The coffee sounds good. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. So, do you guys get a lot of calls like this? I'd imagine as late as it is, most criminals will be asleep. <laughs> You'd be surprised. We get a lot of calls like this. Yeah, especially for such a small town. Usually it's a bunch of busybodies. They hear a cat or a dog, they think somebody's getting broken into. <laughs> you remember that call we had last week? Oh, that woman was crazy. She thought her cat was out to get her. No. Yeah. Really? They were just sitting there, chatting away, like there was no tomorrow. I tried to join in. I laughed with them. But soon, I felt a headache coming on. My ears began ringing, but still they chattered away. Why wouldn't they leave? My headache began to get worse, and the ringing seemed to get louder and louder. It was then that I realized the ringing was more of a thumping sound than low and dull sound, and it wasn't coming from my head either. The sound was coming from the garage. The garage? Yes, the garage. The freezer to be exact. And the detectives pretended like they didn't hear anything. They just sat there talking and laughing. They heard it. They had to. So, what do you think about our new chief? Things okay, but I think you got robbed. Robbed? Yeah. This guy, he should have been chief. Not true. He got it fair and square. Sounds like a bunch of politics to me. just kept getting louder and louder. Could it be possible that they didn't hear anything? And it was all my imagination. Well, do you think it was your imagination? No. They heard it. They heard it all. They suspected. They knew. They were just abiding their time, making a mockery of my horror. I couldn't stand their hypocritical smiles any longer. Stop it! We can't take it anymore! Out there! In the freezer! It 
against the beating of his hideous heart. Annabelle, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Do not move. Guard. So, Doc, what do you think? Is she a complete loon? Well, I would say that her mental faculties are somewhat compromised. Meaning? Hey, Lieutenant, you're not going to believe this. Just got this report from the boys back out there at the house. Five more bodies. Looks as though we got another Dorothea Puente. It was his heart. It was his hideous heart. Make it stop. It's his hideous heart. Make it stop. 